Hello everybody, this is Roll of Winter Bros. In this video presentation, we're going to show you how to use the offset tool with layers inside GIMP. For the purposes of this video, we're using GIMP 2.10, so let us begin. First thing we want to do is uh, we're going to create us a canvas that we can do all of our work on. And we're going to make ours 512 by 512. So let me see everything on the screen here. And you can see it went ahead and auto-filled the background with white for us, the background color. So we're going to go ahead and make a couple of uh, transparent layers here. We'll just do one there first. And we're going to go ahead and make a circular shape here on that first transparent layer. And we'll go ahead and just fill that in with purple, which was our foreground color. And you can see we... When we did that layer, you can see we have feathered edges on there. So that's why it's got that faded out look, which is cool. So we'll turn off selection on that. And we'll create another transparent layer here. And on this one, we're going to go ahead and do a square shape. Uh, we'll go ahead and put rounded corners on it. Just on it in. And we'll change our background color to like a light green. And so we can fill it in with that. So let's see. Let's do like that. There we go. Let's just go ahead and fill that in with the background color. There we go. So now we have a couple shapes to work with. So we can demonstrate how to use, off use offset for these different layers on this uh, in GIMP here. So we'll go ahead and start with this uh, the fuzzy dot one, the purple layer. So we selected that layer. We'll go up here to Layer Tool. And we're going to look under Transforms. And you'll see Offset at the bottom. And there's the keyboard combination. We'll use that way. So once this pops up, you're going to be able to uh, offset that layer, which basically means roll it around on the canvas, either to the left or the right, or from the top to the bottom, up and down. Uh, if you go up here and you look, um, here's the very corner of that image, and you can see uh, the uh, X, this is the X axis along the top, left and right, is at zero, and here's zero for the Y. So basically a positive X is going to the right, and a positive Y is going to downward. So it's kind of nice to remember that when you're moving things around. So we started with the purple layer, with the fuzzy dot, and let's say we want to move it to the left, which would be a negative X direction. We w you can combine the two, but it's going to stick to one direction at a time. And we'll just go ahead and move that to the left by, let's say, about 150. So that'd be a negative 150. And <clears throat> then you'd hit the offset tool to make it happen. But if you don't want to uh, do pixels, uh, specific sizing, and you can change the uh, whichever way you use. You can use these pre-default buttons here, which is half the width and half the height would be filled in up here. Uh, well, let's just go ahead and just let's clear it out. We'll just go ahead and show you what that is. So if we click this button, since it was 512 by 512, half the width and half the height is going to be 256 in each direction. Uh, you also notice that they're in both in the positive direction, so it's going to go to the right and down. So we'll just go ahead and use that one first. Let's just go ahead and do that. There you go. Uh, it's kind of hidden. We're going to move that layer up once so we can see it. And there it is. It went to the right 256 and it went down 256. We also had wrap around turned on. So if you look really closely, because this dot, part of the dot went be, uh, went below the bottom and off the screen, it, with wrap around, the whole image is being wrapped around the whole layer. And you can see it came back, started coming back around up here. But we'll show that a little more predominantly uh, when we use the other one. I'm going to go ahead and uh, move that. We'll go back and take our offsets off. So what, you'll see it more on this one. So on this layer, we selected the green layer. We'll do the. We'll go back to the offset. So you could use those preset measurements if you're doing specific uh, power of two type stuff and you need to move a certain spot. But if you want to go pixel sizing, you, and you want to choose how much you want to move the, uh, the layer or, or kind of offset it, uh, you can do it right here. So that's, those are easy to use on that. Uh, wrap around, of course, we show that it just the right layer wraps around so you don't lose anything. Just whatever goes off the bottom comes back on the top, or whatever goes off the left comes back up on the right, and vice versa. Uh, if you want to use fill with background color, uh, what that'll do is uh, when it uh, offsets the layer and shoves it off of the the canvas, uh, what, uh, whatever parts are left vacant to the left, right, top or bottom will be filled in with the background color. So we'll go over here really quick and we'll switch those. And we'll go ahead and tell it to use fill background color. 
and we're just going to move this uh, this green pill looking shape downward by about uh, let's just say about 200 so that'd be a positive and for the Y and then we'll just use a fill background color to show you what's going to happen here and you can see here all when that layer was offset which means it was moved instead of wrapping it back around the top it just filled in what would have been blank with the background color which is purple at the moment so we'll go back and we'll just undo that really quick and then we'll offset it again but this time sorry transform offset we won't uh, there's a, you can use you can use transparent so it'll just be blank which that could come in handy and of course then you got wrap around which will demonstrate that uh, just a little more let me see, see it now it's used 250 on the Y and you see how that green pill is kind of wrapped around at the top again so and that happens no matter which direction you move it if you have wrap around turned on we'll undo that and we'll do two at once we'll go do the wire transform offset so we'll go 250 down and we're also going to move it to the right so if we move it about 150 to the right it should go off the right edge too We'll use offset for both those directions simultaneously and you see it moved down and then to the right so it kind of wrapped around all around the place and if you kind of if this uh, if you've ever worked with seamless textures this kind of can look like oh that could be a useful tool if I wanted to put shapes on here and move them around to create more of a seamless texture that when they're all butted together can rebuild uh, the shapes so if you just go ahead and play around with the uh, transform the offset tool uh, you'll you can learn a lot you, I, you play with it you get used to it really quick uh, like I said I leave we leave the default measurement mode as pixels but you might want to do percentages so you can do like 50 percent 50 instead of having no numbers uh, with pixels you got to know exactly how much size it is and where you're moving it and there's other uh, if you go uh, points uh, millimeters inches whatever you got different options there so it's all up to you but it's a very powerful tool uh, we use it all the time, and we'll find you'll, you're going to find it very, very useful. Just play around with it before you get into something deep, and you'll find out, oh my gosh, there's so much I can do with that. We hope you enjoyed this video presentation, and have a great day.